Hello, badass yoga newbies. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna begin on our yoga mat in what is known as child's pose. You're gonna take your knees wide on your mat with your big toes to touch and sink your hips down towards your heels. You're gonna place your arms out long in front of you and rest your forehead on the earth. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out all the way down to your belly. Inhaling here and exhaling. Nice deep breath in, slow breath out. In your inhale, you're gonna come up to all fours, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. We're coming into what's known as cat and cow. You're gonna inhale, look up towards the sky, drop your belly, exhale, round your spine, look back towards your belly button. Inhaling, looking up towards the sky, round your spine, Exhale, look back towards your belly button. Nice deep breath here. Inhale, look up towards the sky. Exhale, round your spine, reach your spine up towards the sky here as you look back towards your belly button. One more time, inhale, looking up. Exhale, returning back into cat. And on your inhale, one more time, looking up for cow. Exhaling, rounding your spine. Nice deep breath. We're gonna come into a flat back, cut our shoulder blades back. And from here, we're gonna bring our arms out long in front of us, taking our wrists. We're gonna place our hands so that our palms are facing up towards us, wrists down on the ground. This is another way to do cat and cow with an intense wrist stretch. So you'll inhale, look up towards the sky, and exhale around your spine and feel this. Notice if it doesn't feel good on your wrist, don't do it, right? Just go right back to your flat palms on the ground. But otherwise, taking two more deep breaths. Inhale, look up towards the sky. Exhale, round your spine, look back towards your belly button. And then remove, bringing your hands back flat on the earth. Take a nice deep breath in and a slow breath out. We're gonna take our left arm out long in front of us and then we're gonna loop it underneath our right arm, coming to our left shoulder, resting our left ear on the earth. If you can't get your ear on the earth, no big deal. Just place a pillow underneath your head. This is a nice twist. So we're gonna get deep into our core here and into our spine. Smile if you're here, right? We're badass yogis. <laughs> and then inhale, come back up. Doing the other sides, so we're gonna take right arm out long in front of us, stretch it up, right? And then loop it underneath the left arm. So we're threading the needle here. Press your shoulder down on the earth with your right ear down on the ground. And you can take this in various directions. You can take your right arm out long, holding you up, or you can bring it gently to rest on your back if that works for you. And then take one more deep breath here in this lovely twist. Inhale, come back up to all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're gonna tuck our toes, lift our hips off the earth for downward facing dog. Now, this is the pose that you may hear a lot about. Good old down dog. We're gonna walk our feet and legs here by bending one knee, then the other. Press your chest towards your thighs. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Hug your shoulder blades back towards your spine. Inhale, come forward into what's known as high push up. Hug your shoulder blades back. Pull your belly in, lower down, bend your elbows. Inhale, bring your shoulder blades back and come up to upward facing dog. And then exhale when you're ready. So holding this just a little bit longer so we can get deep into our chest and our pecs. It's a nice little low back opener as well. Yeah, be sure to smile, press down on your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog, press your hips up to the sky, hug your shoulder blades back. Take a nice deep breath in and a slow breath out. Allow your head to hang heavy here so that there's no tension in your neck and sink your heels towards the earth. On your inhale, one more time, come forward into high push-up. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Yeah, shoulder blades press back, nice deep breath. Getting really deep into this pose. And then exhale, downward facing dog. On your inhale, bring your left foot forward and drop your right knee to the earth. We're gonna come up placing our hands on our left thigh and then we'll reach our arms up overhead 
placing our hands back to the nape of our neck. You can place your hands on the top of your head as well if that works. Hug your shoulder blades back and look up towards the ceiling. This is a lovely little back bend and we want to tuck our tailbone down as we do this and pull our belly in. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, come back to center. Exhale, bring your hands on the earth, step back, downward facing dog. And you can walk it out, bend one knee, bend the other, if that feels good for you. Take a soft, deep breath in. Now bring your right foot forward, drop your left knee to the earth. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, place your hands at the nape of your neck. Hug your shoulder blades back. Slight look up towards the ceiling for a lovely little back bend. This is great in opening up our chest as well as in our mid back. Take a nice deep breath here. And then inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bring your hands down onto your thigh and then bring them down onto the earth. Step back, downward facing dog. Walk it out now. Feel the difference now in your thighs, right? You guys feel that difference already just from moving and grooving. Place your knees back down on the earth. And from here, we're going to come onto our sit bones and then lie down onto our back. Placing our feet down on the ground with our knees up towards the ceiling, we're going to come into bridge. So you're going to place your feet down. Inhale, lift your hips up off the earth. Hug your shoulder blades back and keep your gaze up at the ceiling. So I know you want to look at this awesome video, but right now I'm going to invite you to just look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, lower your hips back down to the earth. From here, you can rock your knees side to side. Ah, oh, yes, just for a nice little low back release. My friends, we're going to do this again. So bring your feet closer towards your bum this time. Press down into your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up. Hug your shoulder blades back. And remember, stay soft in your neck. Keep your gaze up at the ceiling. A nice deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Yes. Deep breath in here. Lift your hips up a little higher. Exhale, lower your hips back down to the earth. And rock your knees side to side. Understanding that what we are doing for our body is magnificent. And we are getting nice and strong. Press down into your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up again towards the sky. Coming into bridge pose again, hug your shoulder blades back towards your spine. Now you can take any variation of this pose as you wish. You can take your hands underneath your bum and interlace your fingers or reach for your heels. And exhale, lower your hips down to the earth. We're going to come into what's known as Supta Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose, reclined. So bring the soles of your feet together, knees out to the side, one hand to rest on your belly, one hand to rest on your heart, and close your eyes, my friends. Just take this moment to dive inward, right? Feel your heart beating. Feel your breath as it comes in and out. And then on your inhale, bring your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And just kind of rock side to side here. Just show yourself some love as you rock side to side. Take your arms out long to make a T. We're going to take our knees to the right and a gentle gaze to the left, just for a small spinal twist. It's going to help us prepare for the juiciness that which is the final relaxation pose. Inhale, bring your knees back to center. Exhale, take your knees over to the left and a soft, gentle gaze to the right. Take a nice deep breath in. And a slow breath out, just letting gravity take control of your legs here. You got this. Inhale, come back to center. One more time, grab your knees and hug them into your chest, giving yourself a delicious hug. Now we're going to allow ourselves to come into Shavasana, the final relaxation pose. So scoot gently onto your mat where you're comfortable. Let your feet rock side to side and your arms lay at your side. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out and allow yourself to rest. <laughs>